Well, it is Friday night, October 27th, 2017. Uh, I've got an air parcel package from China and uh, we're gonna take a look and see what came in the mail today. <laughs> So I actually already know what this is because they, they tell you in the little description here, but um, ah, it's always fun opening it as if you're surprised. So these are uh, three one-sixth scale um, faux leather brown belts that I got to go with my uh, Ranger slash Aragorn custom figure that I'm working on. This is him here. Um, I haven't really shown much of him, but I figure I'll take a, a moment to do that, otherwise the video would be pretty much done right where we are. Um, out of the Aragorn figure, I used the head and the hands, and that's pretty much it. I got a Marvel Legends body for articulation. For the uh, outfit, I went with the soft goods route so far. I did uh, wraps on his uh, lower legs, tied, um, some thread around what would be the top of the boot. I uh, used some what were gray um, custom pants that I painted, kind of dirtied them up a little bit. And then the the shirt is actually from a Mezco Spock figure that I had bought several of for customs. Uh, I cut the sleeves off it and uh, again dirtied it up, spray painted it to get rid of some of that blue. and. Um, I want to come up with some kind of leather jacket for him, a uh, trench coat, and I also lightened his hair a little bit. Um, I'm like 50-50 uh, on whether or not he can actually be Aragorn or just be a ranger, period. I really don't care so much. Um, anyway, back to the point of the evening, the belts. So what I have for him is um, two swords. I modified the sheaths a little bit. I cut them to make them a little shorter so when they're on his back... They, won't, they were pretty long, maybe about a quarter inch or so. This one maybe um, three-eighths of an inch. I also beefed up the handles a little bit because for some reason they were really loose in his hands. Uh, I didn't like that, so I took care of that. The belts will go... around him like so. And then it will attach the swords. Then he's got another belt to go around his midsection, the typical belt. Then the third one I'm either going to use for a, uh, a pack or I will use the two belts separately across his chest. Something like maybe one down here, one up here, but whatever it is. Um, so I was really happy to see these. These weren't actually scheduled to arrive um, till late November. So this was a, a nice treat. And maybe over the weekend I will get to work on him. Um, although uh, there's almost really no point because i got to wait for the, um, the trench coat to come in so I can get everything fitted properly. And I'm also still debating if I want to put um, an inner coat um, out of leather to give him a little more of that Aragorn look. You know, although I do like the way this looks like it, you know, as is. I think if the arms were covered, the belt was on it, I think it would kind of come together nicely. Um, and again, I left the articulation from the Marvel Legends figure. Because the, uh, the standard piece was really, um, didn't stand the test of time. It, um... Just really wasn't a good figure as far as articulation goes. I thought the head was pretty good, so I stayed with that. And that's where I am. So like I said, it was a nice surprise for me to get these in the mail today. And um, I was able to bring you this video. So thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you later. Bye! Keep watching for the next video. Come back soon. Bye!